Okay, here I'm going to do a problem that you would see probably towards the beginning of a physics course where you have an object or a system in equilibrium. And what we're going to do in this case is we're going to find the weight of an object. So we've got some object hanging from a cord, and there's a, there's a knot that connects uh, these three cords in general. So we've got uh, the weight of the object. We've got a cord that connects it horizontally to the wall. We're told that the tension in that horizontal cord is 30 newtons. And this other cord that's connecting it to the ceiling, we don't know its tension, but we know it makes an angle of 30 degrees. And from that information, we want to find the weight of the object. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, what's called a free body diagram. So I'm going to think about, you know, this knot, you know, that connects the three cords. And what I'm going to do is just label all the vectors that are acting on that knot. Okay, so I know that there's a horizontal vector, a horizontal force here of 30 newtons that's given to us. There's also a vector that's pulling it down, okay? So there's a vector acting in the uh, downward direction here. And the force or the, the tension, maybe I'll call that uh, cord T1, the tension that would be acting on that cord would simply be the weight of the object. Now we also have this other cord. I don't know its tension. Let me maybe just label that as T2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this left side into its horizontal and its vertical components. Alrighty, so again, to do this, we can just use a little bit of basic trigonometry. This angle is 30 degrees, so we can conclude that this is also 30 degrees, just uh, basic geometry there. So to break it down into its horizontal and vertical components, we're just using sine and cosine. So just to refresh you real quick, hey, sine of 30 degrees, so sine of 30 degrees, that's the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse has some tension, we're calling it T2. So it says the opposite side will be T2 times sine of 30 degrees. That's going to be the vertical component, so T2 times sine of 30 degrees. And likewise, to get the horizontal component, instead of using sine, we'll use cosine. Uh, we would get the T, we have T2 times cosine of 30 degrees. That's going to be the horizontal component. So this is a very common thing uh, with these equilibrium problems, breaking everything down into horizontal and vertical components. Okay, so something you'll do all the time. Now the observation is since everything's in equilibrium, since everything's in equilibrium, that says if we sum up the horizontal forces or the forces in the x direction, it says if we sum up those forces we're going to get zero again because it's in equilibrium. If the sum was not zero, it would mean that you know our the knot here is getting pulled either to the left or to the right. Likewise, if we sum up the forces in the y direction, in the vertical direction, that's also going to have to equal zero. Okay, so if we sum up the forces um, in the x direction, okay, so in the x direction, again, maybe I'll just make to the right positive, since we normally, that's kind of the typical convention. Um, so to the right, uh, we've got a force of 30 newtons. Well, to the left, we have a force, uh, we've had this T2 cosine 30 degrees, but since it's pointing to the left, we're going to make that negative. So we have T2 times cosine of 30 degrees, that's going to equal 0. So that's uh, our equation uh, from our, our first observation here. And then if we sum up the forces in the uh, vertical direction, that's also going to be 0. So again, we'll just make you know upwards positive. So in this case, uh, we have T2 times sine of 30 degrees. And in this case, we would have to subtract away W. And again, that's going to equal 0. So in this case, all we have to do now is just, uh, is just solve. So I'm going to solve. Again, we're trying to eventually solve for W. Well, I could solve for W if I knew T2. Well. I can figure out T2 for my first equation. So that's going to be our, our little our line of attack here. So we have 30 newtons. I'm just going to add T2 times cosine of 30 degrees to both sides. 
And now to get uh, T2, we can just divide both sides by cosine of 30 degrees. And, you know, cosine of 30 degrees, hey, 30 degrees is pi over 6. That's one you can get exactly. I'm even just going to go ahead and round it off. Cosine of 30 degrees is roughly 0 0.866. So 30 divided by 0 0.866, I'm getting that to be 34.642, again, newtons. That's going to be the tension, the tension in our second chord. Now all I'm going to do is simply substitute that value into our second equation. So we have T2, which is 34.642 newtons times sine of 30 degrees minus w, that's going to equal 0. So now I'll do a couple steps at once. Well, we can add w to both sides. Recall that sine of 30 degrees, that's just 1 half. So if we take 34.642 and multiply that by 1 half, we'll get 17.321 newtons. And that's going to be the weight of our object. Okay, so nothing too bad here. Again, the key idea on these equilibrium problems, I think I said it a second ago, you're just trying to break everything down into horizontal and vertical components. And then, you know, pick a direction. One's positive, one's negative. You're just adding them up and setting them equal to zero. You're going to get some uh, type of system of equations. And you just use that system of equations to solve, you know, whatever it is you're looking for.